their time and you could buy four big watermelons for a dollar. I've lived in Florida for 13 years. Wow, 13 years since 2007. Mm -hmm. Dad, you grew up there. How long did you live there for? Well, I left for college when I was 17, but I would be, you know, in and out until I was I was married. But summers, I worked at one summer I worked in Ohio, one summer I worked in um, Omaha, Nebraska. So maybe for all intents and purposes. I left home when, say, I was 18. One thing I like about Florida was I grew up here in Kansas still. I lived here for the better part of 22 years. And then after that, I went to college and lived in various states. But I ended up in a small town in Florida, which is funny. And uh, that's my wife behind us. And <laughs> well, they can't see that. Well, she, she was in the window right there. Oh, could you see it? <laughs> yeah. A lot is going on in Florida. The town I grew up in, Kansas, is dying. That's not, I, well, yeah, it's dying. You know, I, I graduated with 40 people, and I think the last graduating class had eight people in it. Mm -hmm. And unless you go back into agriculture, there's not a whole lot to go back to after you get an education. Or even if you don't have an education, there's not a whole lot to go back to. But one fun thing about living in Florida is something that's always growing, stuff going on. It's kind of, you feel like you're a little bit in it, but the neat thing about a small town is you're not. And... I've said this about a lot of kind, a lot of places in the world, whether it be a, you know, a fall day in Ohio, a spring day in Kansas, uh, a winter day in Uganda. Sometimes, right there, right now, is the most beautiful place it is in the entire world. Beautiful day, isn't oh, it? Always. Uh. There's nowhere where the temperature is more perfect or more agreeable than it is right here, right now, in this place I'm at. And we have a lot of those in Florida. Hmm. And that's one thing that makes it nice. But uh, there's things I miss about Kansas. I didn't move there because you used to live there. But, Dad, talk about growing up in Florida. Well, of course, the weather, it was always uh, an issue, not, uh, not uh, hurricanes. In fact, that's interesting that growing up, I don't recall getting out of school much for hurricanes but we just we just had nice nice weather I, I, I remember uh, when dad used to close the door uh, the grocery store on Wednesday afternoons a lot of stores closed we'd go to a place called Idle Day Springs uh, for swimming and then we would have a, a hot dog roast or something like that and but later on the place was shut down because of pollution uh, but we swam in the river on, on the 4th of July, uh, Dad's birthday, the Perdido river, river. That was always a very fun time. It was so clean and so cold. I remember that. You said weather was a problem. What did you mean by that? The heat? Did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> that's why you go, that's what, you, what got you started on hurricanes and then went on to something else. You said, well, I don't even remember hurricanes. Uh-huh getting out of school for them. No, but no, the, the weather generally was pleasant and what made it so was a breeze off, off of the Gulf. I mean, your summers were not really all that hot and uh, winters sometimes could be a little bit chilly because of um, the humidity. You know, we, we just did a lot of things outside. That was, I remember as a kid growing up, we were outside playing all the time. And, uh, well, they had, Dad had eight brothers and sisters in a house not bigger than this room. Not much, it was bigger, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I could see that the, the time was needed to spend outside. But all right. And what do you think about me living in Florida? Well, I wish you were closer here and uh, right now I think that where you are immediately is that there are a lack of job opportunities of a certain type and uh, it's a uh, you know it's, it's you speak of it as being like a small town uh, uh, there's a narrow strip there 30A along the I belt. live on 30A if you ever seen the movie The Truman Show with Jim Carrey that town that that movie was filmed in is a real town. Here's a 
news flash just then. An aircraft in trouble began shedding parts. Classical fly with classical drive, so why don't you forget about the perils of flying? Settle back and let this music calm you down. And I live right outside that. It's on it's on 38 between Desert Ford and in Panama City, and it's about an hour and a half from where you grew up in Pensacola. Uh -huh. But it's it's 22 miles long. It's all along the coast, and it's very exclusive. I know you. Some people don't think of it as a small town, but I know everybody in town for the most part. You know, when it, when we have tour, we probably have a hundred thousand tourists in there at any one time. But the core group that lives there year round is not that big. Mm -hmm. When I was growing up. Uh, Florida was regarded, I mean, Pensacola was regarded uh, as the armpit of Florida, but Florida has dramatically changed from the time I grew up. Uh, Disney World came and all that, that entertainment complex, that came later, and the sports uh, things came later, you know, uh, football. And so anyway, it, and there's been such an influx of people so that now, I guess, Florida is uh, obviously the fourth or fifth largest state in terms of population. I think it's pretty close to uh, number four. I think we might have New York beat out. Mm -hmm. So I think California being one, probably Texas is two. Okay. And then either us or New York is probably third right now. I don't know who else is slide in there. Mm hmm So Florida is, it's old, uh, the northern strip of counties, uh, uh, of which Pensacola is one of those, is old and it's really regarded as southern. And then you leapfrog over that to the counties down south, uh, Dade County, all around Miami. Miami, uh, uh, South Beach, bringing the heat, uh. And so forth, you have uh, northerners coming in there. And so... Anyway, uh, Florida has just really uh, mushroomed, and it's, it's just simply radically changed. But I, I was thankful for that experience. You still like having a good oyster, a fried oyster once in a while? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> uh, you know, we had lots of fresh vegetables growing up down there. And I remember this, that uh, watermelon season, uh, just preceded 4th of July. By the time you got 4th of July, their time when you could buy four big watermelons for a dollar. And <laughs> <laughs> that was, of course, money was a little more precious than it is now. That is, inflation has really taken hold. That was fun. We, we, we were just outside a lot. We had a lot of picnics, Sunday school picnics, church-wide picnics, youth group picnics, family picnics. Shrimp soup, shrimp stew, shrimp salad. That was just a common part of it, you know. It, the times warranted that, and it was just the weather allowed it. We had time. That was before TV. It was just, uh, it was good. All right.